Oh man, I thought I thought I clicked on to the thing so there would be the pause music going while I was gone, but I think I clicked off of it and it did not work, unfortunately. Um, so I went to mute my mic and pop the thing on and I didn't click back into the game, so I don't think you had the pause music while I was gone, which is a shame. And I probably don't need to do this, but I'm going to put in the chat that I am back. It's a miracle, really. Um, that's gonna be fun to figure out if I should edit that or cut the stream at that point um, for uh, YouTube and the like. Uh, but while I was gone, I acquired not only water, but the hot deets we required. Banjo-Kazooie did in fact come out in 98, Tui coming out in 2000. Also, apparently people very frequently Google Banjo-Kazooie 2, which Makes me a little sad, uh, instead of Banjo-Tooie. Um, also, Banjo-Kazooie was the 10th best-selling in 64 game. Very neat and very good. Turns out the best game on the N64 was only the 10th best-selling one. How home drum. Oh, excuse me. Oops, and I did not jump there. I don't know if that was, once again, a brain problem situation and or a controller issue. This is gonna be super fun and great. I love, I love to have a controller issue. Uh, but I think we're making pretty good time thus far. We've been streaming for two hours, um, and we've already beaten three worlds 100%. And yeah, you only need 180 notes uh, to open that door, so uh, as long as you get 90 from the first two worlds, you could just skip Clanker's Cavern if you so desired. Um, we're making some pretty good headway in this, but uh, like I said near the beginning of the stream, I'm not sure how far we'll get in for I decide to call it quits. Um, or even if we'll end up having a, um, if, like, the, this in the second stream will end up being, like, you know, nice, perfect, like, sp halfway split down the game, um, that probably won't happen, um, it'll also probably be a little before we get to the second stream, um, because I, uh, I have a, uh, plane trip next weekend, so, oh man, the water's freaking out again, why is it, why is it doing that? It's so weird, hmm, must be a problem with, like, the scrolling texture uh with the emulation i had, had if i had to guess um so yes if well that was that was weird um the, it showed gloop in his little anvil instead of the weird uh black screen um like i said that wasn't working but now it's finding completely new ways to not work that's so great um i guess that probably pulls an image from memory or something um, the black screen probably means like it has nothing, and then when it was freaking out back there, it probably got the image um, of the, the um, gloops area and um, <clears throat> gloops area in Clanker's Cavern. So many like just nonsense words. I was trying to say them all like coherently, and just my brain like stopped. Like, wait a second, these aren't things that mean anything. What the hell are you saying? Uh, so I had to just stop for a moment. Also, because. We, we were seeing Gloop, and we're in, now in Bubble Gloop Swamp, and my brain just couldn't do it anymore. Sorry, I wanted to hear Croctus' noise. Um, me want yummy egg too, even though your talking portrait has green eyes and you're blue, so it was still the green one saying that. How comical, and I think we're actually full up on feathers, so I didn't need to actually come up here. Um, but what whatevs, what whatevs, it's all good. We're in Bubble Gloop Swamp, my big favorite. So we're gonna just have, we're gonna have a blast. Um, so back when um, I let's play Banjo Kazooie, I think I said that this was my third favorite song. Um, while I may have experienced negative character development since then, having forgotten enemy names, etc., um, I have had positive character development in that Bubble Gloop Swamp is now officially. 100% my favorite song in like Banjo Kazooie, like music, like all of it. Between Tui, between Kazooie, uh, anything from Nuts and Bolts, and Nuts and Bolts actually has a pretty good soundtrack, so don't knock it if you haven't listened to it. Um, between Ukulele, like Bubble Gloop Swamp is my favorite like Grant Kirkhope like song. It is so good. It's a, it's perfect. Mm, it's such good video game music. Love Bubble Gloop Swamp's uh, song. Um, and it's even a pretty fun level. I like the um. I like the way it's designed, like the way it's all sectioned off, like in kind of little like micro areas. Um, that kind of thing just makes me happy though, just things whenever they're like nicely sectioned off like that. It's not something I'd want every single level to uh, follow as tightly as this one does. Um, also that 
water freaking out is so weird. Um, right? It's the best song forever. It's so good. The fourth level is the best song forever. And I'm not going to get that. Um, oh, I can still get that. I can totally still get that. Um, not that it matters. We're full up on lines. Um, doesn't mean I want it any less, though. If I see a thing, I want it, regardless of if, if it's being, it's gonna be useful to us at all. And I suppose it's supposed to be large. Um, I don't know. That's just the kind of person I am. Uh, if there's something to collect in a game, regardless of it, if it's useful or helpful in any way, I want it. And uh, speaking of being useful or helpful in any way, let's go ahead and use Wonder Wing and uh, go ahead and just run through the water instead of using our boots like the game wants us to do. Um, so if we can not take damage, we probably shouldn't, because uh, I believe when I LP'd this, um, I just ended up tanking a lot of damage in Bubble Gloop Swamp instead of being smart about it. Um, I, pr I probably used Wonder Wing and then like ran out of like invincibility feathers and just kind of dealt with it. That's so weird. Um, these uh, little, like vines in the upper area, like you're not gonna see those very often, but they have them up there. It's kind of a nice little touch. Um, Man, I probably should have taken a bigger drink of water during uh, my break, because my throat is starting to kill me. Um, so I'm not sure how much longer we'll keep the stream. Maybe we'll um, maybe we'll mess around and um, freeze easy peak before we uh, think about calling it. Uh, maybe like stop like halfway point for like world uh, count. Oh, and there we go. Now I'd mess it up and jump into piranha water. And we'll, keep, we'll keep her smelly feet out in the future. I'm sorry, Mr. Piranha Water. Um, and if we were super pro, we would go ahead and like go ahead and grab like the Mumbo Token and the Proctus along our way, and grab all of the notes. But we'll we'll make another pass at this. Um, I don't want to mess this up. Even though we we have 20 seconds, we could have we probably could have fed Proctus and grabbed all the notes. But we'll just go ahead and do that the easy way, so we don't have to worry about messing it up. We'll go ahead and take this. Get this chill and just have a nice relaxing walk back. Um, <clears throat> see, it's much, much nicer when you don't have to rush all the time. You just chill, relax, grab a Jinjo, have some water. I have a lot of water in my case. Oh man, work's gonna be great tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully we don't have a meeting that I have to talk through. Um, Hopefully, I'll just get a, get a story, and then I can just sit there and develop all day and not have to talk, because, man, my, my throat is it is not enjoying uh, this decision to to uh, talk a lot for several hours on end. <clears throat> Probably get, like, throat lozenge after this. Because um, I, haven't, I haven't streamed like this in ages. Like, I think the last stream I did was Banjo-Kazooie, um, Grouchy's Revenge. Um, Pretty sure that was like in May of last year, if I had to just guess. Um, yeah, because I was still in my old apartment. Um, so it's been quite a while uh, since I streamed last. Uh, and when I uh, when I record LPs, I normally don't um, record a bunch at once. Uh, normally I'll record two episodes in a row uh, if I'm feeling saucy three, but that very rarely happens. Um, knocking me into the water. I do not want to be knocked into the water. We'll go ahead and heal. And you can see there, like, I was starting to panic, so I was starting to talk faster, uh, which is also a thing that I do. Another reason why I tend to talk so fast is because I'm panicking. Constant state of panic. Um, even if just playing a nice chill little game of Banjo Kazooie that I played a million times. Yep, we're too tough for the Flibbits. It's weird that the Flibbits don't get different names depending on their color. Um, normally they do that for enemies in video games. I mean, typically they're like Red Bokoblin, Blue Bokoblin. Um, I think Bokoblin's the right way to say that, because it's not Bokoblin. Um, I tend, I think I have a bad habit of saying Bokoblin, but I think it's Bokoblin. Um, that sounds like Goblin. That sounds like the most, that sounds like the correct way to say it. Um, Bokoblin, um, now that we're talking about, uh, Zelda enemies and Banjo-Kazooie, um, yeah, when I stream, or when I LP, I only tend to record a few episodes at once, so maybe at worst I end up talking for, like, an hour, uh, but now it's like, oh, we're entering hour two, and who know who knows how much longer we'll keep streaming for, this could be a while, um, it could, we, we could, I could just say, hey, bye, and end it now, but uh, that's probably, 
probably not gonna happen. I'd give it, I'd give it maybe a, a 50% chance that it won't happen. Um, good odds, really. Um, we'll go ahead and come over here because this will be the easier one to recover from since it's higher. <coughs> So we jumped over there, we had to make a jump back, um, even though I'm pretty sure we can make that jump no problem. Um, but hey, why risk it? Do things the easiest possible way we can do. We'll go ahead and just land on Croctus so we can give him his stupid egg. Um, how many Croctuses are left? I think it's just uh, that, the two, the one that we just opened, and then the one by Tip Top, I think, is the last one. Uh, Tip Top? Tip Top? Yeah, it is Tip Top, okay. I had to remember if the if the turtle in this game was tipped up or not. Um, important tipped up facts. Uh, my boy, tipped up. Everybody's friend, tipped up. Who doesn't love tipped up? If you don't love tipped up, don't, don't even, don't at me if you don't love tipped up. Cause I'm, I'm the big tipped up boy. Love, love tipped up. And, and Donkey Kong, not Donkey Kong, uh, Diddy Kong Racing. If I'm if I'm gonna pick a racer, it's either gonna be Banjo or it's gonna be Tip Top. That's the kind of person I am. I'm a banjo, I'm a banjo and Tip Top boy. Those are the only the only two I'll ever pick. There's there's some there's some good racers and and Diddy Kong Racing too. So there's some real good ones. So that isn't saying that the rest are shit because there's there's very good racers in that game. But hmm. Tip Top, Banjo. Down on the street, is is that? Are you telling the truth? Like, do you do you actually you actually found a card on the street? Because that's like legit as hell. If you did, um, especially since Avermedia, I think those are pretty popular ones. Um, okay, I think I've heard Slowbeef talk about it before. I don't know if that's what he uses or what he used to use, but I've definitely heard the name before. So I know they're popular to some degree. And I'm almost out of a uh, Wonder Wing, uh, so we're probably just gonna take some hits here. I think this is the last one though, so we're good. We didn't have to take that many hits. That's super cool though. We just found a capture card in the street. Like, was it like actually in the street, or was it like sticking out of like a trash can? Like someone like was like, oh, I don't want this anymore, or just on the street? Like, interesting stories that I have to know more about. Now, is there anything in the corner of this level? Because I imagine if there's anything, it's probably a mumbo token, uh, but I can't think off the top of my head. So. <clears throat> we might just go explore that once we become, spoilers, an alligator, um, rather than worrying about it now, um, since uh, being an alligator is the best way to explore is a swamp. Um, and I think we took a hit, so we could use some, we could use some honey. I say stealing it from the, um, no, you, you, you can leave, we'll, we'll leave the beehive alone, it's, it's suffered enough. As we continue through the maze of the Bubble Goop Swamp. Uh, which isn't much of a maze, it's honestly a linear corridor that just kind of winds. Like, there's no uh, branching paths at all to speak of, which is both nice and kind of- Oh man, we stopped right before we picked the next shoes. Um, it's kind of nice because then it's like there's no guess and check work as there normally is with mazes, but then it's also like, oh, you know, it's just a, it's just a race and- uh, like, you move a set speed, uh, I don't think the, the variable, oops, oh, oh, my desk. I don't think the variable, um, sticks, or stick movement thing affects your speed with, um, uh, the boots, oh god, I can't, I can't remember the name of the boots, like, there's the turbo trainers, uh, but I can't remember the name of the boots, um, oh man, I guess we're checking this out now, because I was trying to mess with the camera, um, that's a shame, and that's gonna have to show us the, the cutscene of that failing it. Oh man, I super missed Grunty just like talking shit. That's such a good thing. Grunty's such a good villain just because she's constantly coming in and talking shit. It's such a good thing. I wish, I wish more games did that. Just have their villain come in and just be like, Hey, what you losers doing? You'll never beat me. I'm the coolest. Um, it's such a shame in Tui when she stops rhyming because her sister's like, Tell her not to like i wish it was just like like the, they were like oh please stop rhyming we hate it and she was like oh okay but then she kept doing it or 
it was like a thing that maybe like they like slipped in like occasionally or she's like you know would run and her sisters would get upset but you know there isn't a lot of like cutscenes of her and her sisters after those those first ones like really after that it's just the um the tower terror terror tower quiz tower terror quiz <clears throat> mm -hmm. i think it's tower of terror that might be the twilight zone thing though twilight zone I'm pretty sure it's Twilight Zone. I don't know. I don't know anything. I can't remember anything about anything. The ride in Disney World. I think it's the Twilight Zone thing. Whatever. I don't remember things. It's been established that memory is not my strong suit. Um, uh, but what will be my strong suit is collecting this Jiggy, because we will do that for sure. Um, we have to be expedient enough to make it within the 10 seconds. But also... Not dumb enough to do what I just did. Um, stupid, stupid, stupid. Because um, I was like, oh, I'm. Oh man, I got turned around. Damn it. Um, I was like, I was just thinking about it. I was like, oh well, I'll be able to make it. No problem. Uh, I just, I just realized I haven't gotten the, the follow up on the Avermedia um, story. So I, I, now I have to wonder if you're you were having internet trouble again, or if uh, if. This is like a lengthy story, um, a meaty little story. Um, uh, are we gonna need to be the alligator at the end of the level? Uh, I think we only need to be the al alligator at the end of the level if we uh, if we want to go to Cheeto. I don't really care too much about visiting Cheeto. Um, I just realized Cheeto's name. Is also like Cheeto the snack. I mean, they spell it as a cheat, like you're gonna cheat, but I, had, I never thought about that until now. Like Cheeto and Cheeto, the, the cheat book. Um, I would very much so enjoy to stop failing this. I should probably just chill and not try to like jump or be fancy, um, especially since at the end we just barely missed that jump. Um, just, just take it slow. We got plenty of time. Uh, move a little bit faster than that, perhaps. Oh look, we we made it. Oh, okay, I was like, we're gonna make it to the end and not get it this time. Whatever. Uh, that would that would have sucked. Um, no, what's really gonna suck is when I fall off on the way back uh, this time. There we go. No problem. Did it on my first try, obviously. Um, <clears throat> oh, the way I was setting my my uh, knee was obscuring my water, and I was like, oh, that's my water. I thought I left it in the kitchen for a second. And there we go. Finally to the end of the stupid maze. I can't believe I shit-talked the maze and then had trouble. Um, yeah, because, I mean, it's not a maze. It's it's, it's maze-adjacent, uh, as it were. Um, 